Join me on my adventure to find the perfect place to start my dive shop. What's for breakfast? Uh, Quaker oats and a banana. Where's the coffee? I always wondered what a Rambo Tantry looks like. Ah, porque es peligroso. Just so you know what he was saying. He was saying the reason they're taking numbers here is because it's a private owned uh, petrol refinery and they want to make sure that no one is taking pictures. <laughs> Just as we were filming. Oh, another rock bash. This car has been used and abused today. Used and abused. Looks like the car has suffered a bit of internal damage. <laughs> Great. Well, we couldn't get past those rocks without some uh, comeuppance, could we? We screwed up our car on some rocks, and now this nice man is helping us pump up our tyre. It's not quite the machine you get in the uh, petrol station, is it? But it's working. And we've also screwed up the metal bit of the wheel. See if it works. This is our lunch spot. Kambute. Wow. Habla? Si. Sí. Sí. Yeah. It's going to be 45 minutes walk. All right, well, let's try it. Yo tengo una tabla de sur. Tengo maleta, tenemos uno, dos, dos mochilas. Sería muy difícil. Puede ser que podemos conseguir un caballo. So we may be able to get a horse to take our bags there. Mm. Wow. <laughs> sí. Yeah, there's so many monkeys. We made it! Puppy. Let's go and have a look inside our room. Termites. Look. Oh, it's absolutely. It's full of them. You might say this is their nest. Crikey. This is my perspective. We're staying at a really remote place in uh, on the North uh, Pacific of Panama. 
it's the furthest point up just before Costa Rica. It's called Punta Burica. And we're staying at a place that was run by a, um, a guy who's been sailing first for 10 years by himself. And then he's been basically just building his own huts here in the jungle for the last 18 years. So it's a very, very remote, very unusual kind of place. It's got me thinking a bit about this idea and just the sorts of people that I meet who are doing this who they are, just people seem so lonely. I guess it comes back to that same idea I always wonder is, you know, when you come to a country that has a lot of tourism, it's a lot poorer, is it really possible to integrate them to belong? And I wonder if you can. I want a family one day, just not sure how that's going to pan out here, and, you know, how feasible that is. And Just hold it out by the tree and wait for them to come. Okay, it's come time to say goodbye to Monophilis. We've seen lots of monkeys. Uh, we've seen some turtles in the water. Um, the cabins were super awesome, like rustic. I mean, literally, it's like sleeping in the jungle. It's really nice. So anyway, that's it. Now we're gonna brave the 45 minute walk back and then off to David.